appeal. Because if I make 100 cars, no message is the same. So there is somebody on, uh, there is somebody online that the Bible sister, they, they, they say, ah, am I right? Is that right? I'm careful what I write now. The am I right? It does something inside them. Say, sha ba 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 if I were not married, I would have been a Confucianist. <laughs> because, wow. Well, but I know I write. I know I write. It's only one by inspiration. Amen. So, you know, I want to the point my wife titled The Candle in the Dark. You know, um, you know, it's like I let I won't I won't tell you the full thing so that I don't step up something else. So it's like I was walking along the along along the pathway and it was all dark. All of a sudden, I saw the flickering lights from a distance. And as I walked and I put the light, it became brighter and brighter. And all of a sudden, I saw that it wasn't just a light, it was a candle, though in the wind, but the wind was not strong enough to blow it up. Because the candle was meant to be born from day to day. And just then, my dark became light and my heart were defined. So SH, you are my candle in the dark. Oh. <laughs> I will give you full gist. But what I'm just saying is this. You see, that particular poem was describing something. The reason I could locate it was because it gave me a sign. It may have been weak. But you see, I was in the dark, on a dark path walking. And that candle was giving me a little sign. So I said, okay, let me trace. I decided to walk towards that light. There may have been other lights, but that particular one was my own candle in the dark to lead me to the way that was ordained. I was ordained to walk on. It's like this thing is throwing off people. So, and that was how the journey began. Now, so you need to understand that as a human, as a lady, especially, listen to this, don't just wake up one morning and say, ah, I'm of age. It's time to get married. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, the man. <laughs> Not like that. <coughs> Listen to this. It is oh God. Hush. <laughs> Something's about to break me. <laughs> ah, wow. This is sweet. Just say something now. Do you know that what the man was tending and communing and relating with nature out there, as you would call it. Do you know that the human, the human, was supposed to be relating with nature on the, on a different level? Why man was relating, relate with nature at this level, right on the earth realm? The human relates with nature on a higher plane in God's presence. So that the woman is actually the door through which the man enters into Yahweh. Oh. Are you following me? That is why you have a womb. <laughs> that, okay. I said, just as the man was ordained and he was placed in the Garden of Eden, and even why Adam, I mean why Eve was locked within him, and he was placed in the Garden of Eden to tend that garden, right? Which 
Now we know that the garden is actually talking about a fellowship. As you fellowship with nature, as Adam was fellowshiping with nature on this earth realm, so also the woman was actually ordained to fellow. That was why she was not brought forth with Adam. Why? Because she was in the spirit realm. She was actually the. She was. There was a fellowship, a stronger fellowship on a higher plane with Yahweh, so that she became the door through which man was to assess Yahweh. Listen carefully. That is why the emotions of the woman was planted in her. That is why you see that when it, whenever there is a meeting where there is a strong move of the spirit, who connects forces? Because you are a door through which men were to access. You see, and that's what the enemy did. He knew that. And that was why you see that it was through the woman, because the woman is a door. And that is why till date, the man is always after the woman because he knows that once he can get the woman, the man will follow suit. That's why you find that even in sacrifices, who do they use? Virgin women. When they want to talk about powerful priests, priest dresses, who do they use? Virgin women. They are the women. To higher ranks of operation. Now, if you understand this, that is why if you occupy that realm, you occupy that realm and you are fellowship in that fellowshipping in that realm. What the devil tried to do is to cut you off that realm so that you begin to focus on your searching. What is it? Okay, be fine. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> do you know what you are doing? You are being brought down low. Listen carefully to these women, sisters. I love you guys. You are very important. That's why it's that I respect women. My respect for women is beyond the physical. It's beyond what the eyes can see. It's beyond what the eyes can understand. I have great respect and honor for women. Why? Because, listen, there are times when I'm struggling. I just, all I need to do is to get sisters around me. Just share one or two things with them. It can oppose them. Once they break open like that, it grants me access into the world. Are you following? Are you seeing it? Right? Do you see how powerful you are, women? Why do you think? Oh, God, I'm just this sister. I'm this, yes. They are. Why do you think that the enemy is always after defiling the woman? Oh God. You want me to say okay? This is what to say this to you. Your hands are crying, okay? I'll just give you only this aspect. Even in nature, see, I always tell you, I say everything God created have God's signature on them. Especially, I was saying this last week, that it's only your own body, the man and the woman. Is we are the only ones in nature. Everything God spoke, right? But we are the only one that has his fingerprints. And in having his fingerprints, he created something very unique. I just said that women, they are doorways. Do you know that even our sexes? That's why people who change sex, if they know the spiritual implication of what God gave them and why he created them the way he created them. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is why the enemy locks knowledge. See, when the woman opens her leg for the man to enter, it is not just to, to you call it make love or have sex. No, it's actually an entry into a realm. Why do you think Every time it is done in the garden, there are consequences. Because it gives access into the realms of the spirit. And in the realm of the spirit, it's not only the Holy Ghost that is there. I always tell people. Something, a breakthrough is about to come. 
a woman opens her leg, the man enters. Though the man, the woman, that breakthrough is shut down. Why? They broke spiritual law. You prayed and prayed, and the breakthrough was coming. All of a sudden, the enemy arranges for something to happen. And you open your leg. You know, the way we call it, you know, the way they call it, uh, five minutes pleasure, this pleasure, this pleasure, it actually tells some of us to want to go and try it out. Have you noticed that when you tell a lady, don't go to any man, don't go to any man, you'll be pregnant, you'll lose your impurity, they want to try it out. I have a only impurity. But show them the mystery. You see, I'm ending up talking sex, right? But I won't give you your other clue. But see, show them the mystery. Tell, don't, don't tell a teenager, don't have sex. Tell her that she should not have sex. And don't just tell her that you will get pregnant. They may want to get pregnant. As a matter of fact, like me in those days, I just love pregnant women. Oh my goodness. Before I begin to say, any of my friends that gets a girl pregnant and they reject her, I will take the girl, put her in my house, and I'll be taken. I just love pregnant women. <laughs> See, when they get that uh, short. Uh, with, oh my God. And I'm walking with them, I feel top of the wall, you know. <laughs> Fucking top of the wall. I'll take care of them. Is their friend my friends who are getting jealous when she goes to bed and they will. I said, look at all of you. But I wanted to take this girl that her sex. I don't stop pregnant with them. They shape everything. Even when they are doing that, they are mm, 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 all of those things. I just love all of those things. The only one I don't like is the speech. But I love the weird cravings. Hmm? When you see somebody to sit in front of something with just to breathe. Ew! I, 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 I tell you different yes, kinds wow. of cravings. Wow. Are you serious? Some is just they just want they don't they would not eat anything that is not cooked by a wood. Huh? It has to be by a wood. And if you bring it, it's not cooked with firewood. So what I used to do when I don't have firewood, I will go and after cooking, I will carry grass. Eh? I will carry grass. Now, so it, it's many smoke, smoke. It's the smoke that I look for. I'm not saying so that you would know that I graduated in that school very well. Oh my God. What you see? We are going with this. Don't tell anybody, don't do it, you will get somebody pregnant. It's just that I always desired to marry a virgin. That was why I wasn't given to actual sex. I won't, I won't, I will shut it down there. So I don't tell people. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I will shut it down there, right? I have my reason for shutting it down there. Now, listen to this. Oh, I, I, I wish you would understand this thing, right? Did you read this admission? Yes, it's not like that. No, the other people also that. Now, so you see that. The reason I'm saying this is because when you tell a guy, if you are not careful, you get somebody pregnant. Like I said, if not that I desire to get married to a virgin, listen, I would have, I just, I probably would have gotten people pregnant. I would have had my children, and of course, if I did, I probably wouldn't marry again. Okay? But well, I wanted to marry a virgin. So all my girlfriends, I met them virgins and I left them virgins. All right? And that was my, my being able to manage that was only because of one thing. 
respect. Respect. And because I knew I didn't love them. Yeah. I just liked them. That kept me. Okay? And I didn't just want to do anything because they say pleasure. I didn't understand that kind of pleasure. That just the way to eat it. So what I did instead, I decided to find out what is the mystery. Why is it that this thing shocks people? That was as a non-believer. And I got to know. And I decided to overcome it. Because it is not good to be like I'm boasting the flesh is why we share that aspect. Things I did. But I built myself up and what I used then now is by the power of the Holy Spirit. But what I used then was that I would just, I just, I said, I respect you so much and I like you so much. And I want you to get married as a virgin because me, I want to marry a virgin. And you know it works. And this majority of my girlfriends who were virgins, they actually married, got married to their husband and virgins. How did I know? By the time I got saved and I go to the rivers to Potato to preach and I met a few of them, they would drag me to their husband and they would say, Thank this man. It's because of him you married a virgin. So I became friends with those with their husbands. But I did not know what I was doing then. All right? Don't go and try it. If I tell you something, that's why I say I won't share, share that. Because if I share it, some people will say, eh, let's act up as a friend. The evil has not been evil before he became born again, self. If he could do it, not to mention we that have the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Don't go and try it. It's aggressive. No, the Spirit is sure. You'll be tormented so much. I think. Don't go and try it at all. Do you know that right now, as it is, so that you will know? So let me balance it. Now, okay? If a sister is naked in front of me, I have trained myself not to see her nakedness. Ask me how. Okay. <laughs> I have to train myself to enter into the cloud of his glory. So, if a sister is naked and walks into, not just a sister, anybody at all, you are naked and you walk into this place right now. Everybody will see your nakedness. I will see you clothed in white. And guess what? I'm not just, it's not because I'm pretending to. It is like that. Do you know why? The same way you have the power to, to strip a woman naked, you also have the power to do it. That's how powerful your mind and your thoughts are. Now, let's get back to our subjects. Are you ready for it? Yes. This is why you came, Abby? Yes. You are not ready? Okay, you can step out. Step out now. <laughs> are you ready for this? Yes, sir. If you look at, I said, if you go through the book of SOS, Song for Solomon, <laughs> read that all over the place is the key of how a woman has the ability to call forth her spouse. From verse 1, you begin to see where the bride will speak, the, I mean the bridegroom will speak, the bride will respond. Then you now get to a place where you see how the bride stepped out for a while and by the time they came back, came knocking, the door was locked and she delayed a little and by the time she opened the bride was I mean the bridegroom was gone. Right? What did she do? She went out looking, right? But I want you to note something. You will see in that place that she was talking to people, talking to the daughters, say calling out to them, have you found my bridegroom? Right? 
Now, the first thing is there was a personalized relationship and recognition of person. All right? The bridegroom he was talking about there was actually talking about the Lord, right? But listen to this, listen to this. You can also use that because when what you are looking for in a man is not the man's physique, but you are looking for the Lord in the man. That is why if your relationship, if you have a strong relationship with the Lord himself, you can always commune to the man and to the God in the man that I am ready, I'm waiting, I'm calling out for you. But listen to this now. She called out to people. Listen. The word says people. But as I began to make a research, I now discovered that she was actually communing because she knew that the bridegroom communes with nature. Wow. Are you familiar with me? The bridegroom communes with nature. So she was in her speaking to the people, it wasn't just the people, she was actually releasing a sound into the atmosphere that the that the bridegroom can connect with and thrill her back to her. Are you following me? So it is in your chance and in your fellowship, there is a call. Now, this is what you are waiting. You want to eat, want me to eat something, I will eat it. Don't worry. Don't be patient. Hmm? From different for people, it will be different, but everything points to one thing. And I'm just giving you to I'm just going to give the general one that you will discover your own, your own uniqueness. You must learn to combat your breathing. Okay, sorry. Can you hear me, everybody? So I'm going to stand here so that everybody will hear me. You must learn to convert your breathing into your day by day. You must learn to convert your breathing into the breath of Yahweh. After now, I'm going to, not okay, I can give it to you, and I can write it down. Laura C. Laura C. Unfortunately, she only has two of her tracks as audio. But I'm going to write to her if she can send audio instead of just video, video, video. But what we have, you can find her on YouTube. But the reason YouTube is good is because you can see the lyrics, then you can see the movement of the pictures to help you to ascend into that realm. Laura C, she has ascension songs. Then she has the one that, she has one that is tuning. It's called, the title is tuning. Tuning, T-U-N-N-I-N-G, tuning. The lyrics is tune me, tune me into your nature. Tune me to hear the sound of nature. Alright? Tune me until I become into you. Until we are until we come into you now. Alright? It's an it's a sound of ascension that will help you, that will bring you into an alignment of relationship that triggers and quickens your ability to relate with God at the level that we are talking about. Am I making sense? All right. Now, having said that, yes, Laura C. Thank you, Isaac. Having said that, the next thing you do as you learn to breathe in your way. Now, when you breathe in your deep breath, so you you inhale. Then, as you are exhaling, you exhale your. 